Okay, this is the third video that I'm making about improper integrals here, and uh, we know there are three types, really four, kind of, because you can combine them. Uh, the first type, there's a discontinuity at either A or B, where those are the bounds of your definite integral. Uh, the second type, there's a discontinuity uh, somewhere in between uh, A and B, and that was in the second video. And then uh, in this video, we're going to deal with um, A or B being uh, somehow infinite. So A could be negative infinity, B could be positive infinity. Um, and then there is the absolute worst case scenario where you're doing a combination of these sorts of things. Um, so maybe you have a combination of 1 and 2 or a combination of 2 and 3. If you think about it, having a combination of 1 and 3 is kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, this video is about uh, option 3 here. So we're going to have some infinite bounds. So the first integral we're going to look at is from 0 to infinity of x squared over 1 plus x cubed dx. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is infinity is uh, infinite. Kind of obvious, so I'm probably not going to write that for the next one. Um, so let's uh, write a limit. So it's the limit as b approaches infinity of 0 to b, and then x squared over 1 plus x cubed dx. So I'm going to integrate this. This looks like a natural log to me. So u would be the denominator, 1 plus x cubed. So du would be 3x squared dx. So I need a 3 on the inside, 1 third on the outside. So it becomes this limit. 1 third natural log absolute value 1 plus x cubed from 0 to b. And fundamental theorem on that would give me this. And if you look at it, the second part of this is 1 third natural log of 1, but the natural log of 1 is 0, so that actually just drops out. So really this limit is just the limit of 1 third natural log of 1 plus b cubed. Now, uh, if you think of a graph of natural log, um, it increases forever. So if b is going to infinity, 1 plus b cubed is going to infinity. Uh, natural log of infinity definitely does not converge on anything. Uh, so this diverges. So we would say that the integral diverges. doesn't have a finite sum. So that's how we would do this. All right, let's take a look at one more. So let's say we go from negative infinity to infinity of dx over 1 plus x squared. So hopefully you recognize that. Um, obviously the bounds are both infinite, so that's a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a number. I'm gonna pick c equals 0. Uh, you pick any number. 0 is uh, the most convenient number in this particular case. And I'm going to break this into two integrals. Um, and I'm going to use that property where the integral from a to c plus the integral from c to b is the integral from a to b. So I'm exploiting that fact. And I will do each of these integrals. So the first one uh, becomes this. Hopefully you recognize uh, 1 over 1 plus x squared is just arctan. So that's arctan from a to 0, um, which is going to be a limit as a approaches negative infinity of the arctan of 0 minus the arctan of a. Um, now you might need to think, well, the arctan of 0 is actually 0. And if you picture the graph of arctan, uh, it actually has two horizontal asymptotes, one at negative pi over 2 as you go to negative infinity, and one at pi over 2 as you go to infinity. That's actually a really important graph um, in terms of these sorts of problems and limits in general. Uh, and later on when you do stuff with series, it kind of comes up again. Uh, so you want to be on top of that. Uh, so I need this. And I just said that the limit as I approach negative infinity of the graph of arctan is negative pi over 2. So this is actually minus negative pi over 2, which is pi over 2. And now I'm going to go back through and do the second of the integrals, which is substantially the same. So let's blow through this. So we get this. So I'm kind of skipping that one step, mostly for space. Um, so I get all the way here. And as discussed, the limit as b approaches infinity of the arctan of b is just pi over 2 because of those uh, horizontal asymptotes that the graph of arctan has. So uh, definitely go back and memorize that graph if you don't have it memorized. It's uh, really useful. But anyway, this particular integral becomes the, uh, the integral from negative infinity to infinity is the sum of those two numbers. So pi over 2 plus pi over 2, which is pi. Um, so that's uh, an improper integral that uh, shoots off to negative and positive infinity, but has a finite value, and the value turns out to be pi. Um, anyway, hope you found this helpful, and good luck.